All right, guys, and welcome back to another edition of Night Time. Corey, joining us tonight. Good evening. And the beautiful crazy lady. Deja vu, hello. Hello, and as usual, I'm back. <laughs> right here on the end, but uh, yeah. A year older? Yes, a year older and a little bit more beautiful, would you say? Uh, I wouldn't. Absolutely, no. like a fine wine. Yeah, you get better with age. I want to know about I don't actually drink wine. where you stayed and... Um, what the food was like. Oh, actually. As soon as uh, you like to be a food critique. Mm. The food was a funny story, actually. Good end she, she looked after me, you know, spoiled me, and uh, we went to West, stayed at West because of the footy the next morning, and mm-hmm. we went for a massage. And it was supposed to be a couple's one, but then we got there and it was, wasn't. was Separate rooms? So anyway, she's do, they're doing these... Um, to put it in perspective, the, the, the nice young lady I had that was massaging me looked like Elsie Albert. So you got a bit of an idea, the St. An George Asian player. one. The, the St. George player. <clears throat> anyway, my, if you can get this, I <clears> know <throat> oh you obviously can't see me on radio, but I'm six foot six. I'm laying on my stomach. The back of my ankle was touching my neck. Mm. And she was moved me like I was... Remember that thing that used to be on Romper Room with Punchinello that used to move? Yeah. Well, that was me. Well, anyway, she kept going in all these different areas and all of a sudden, Smitter went, oh. <laughs> Accidentally, she moved me the wrong way and I, uh, yeah, let loose. So, Kylie was in the next room and what Thank could God. you hear? I heard her coughing up a furball. <laughs> she sounded like she was choking to death. Oh, uh, but, you know, I've since found out too, it wasn't... That's happened qu- quite regularly to people. It does. They get moved in the wrong area. And... I was going to say, were they coughed up a fur ball, did they? Or <laughs> <laughs> I actually booked in a relaxation massage. Somehow they got that mixed up with a remedial, and here we are being bent like pretzels. Mm. It hurt. That was like getting folded up into a... It was like mm. I was origami. But uh, yeah, it was still good. <laughs> but yeah, we had a nice night over at West and... Then off to the footy the next day. The yeah. breakfast was really good. I really mm. enjoyed my breakfast. And the company. Of course. Mm. Goes without saying. But no. Nah, you know, <clears throat> yeah, it was That really... was the highlight of our weekend, considering both our teams sucked. Yeah, well. <laughs> but, um, you know, it was a good night. And I also must thank um, Brady Jones and uh, Sawaso Sue for sending me some uh, birthday messages. Mm. So, yeah, that was awesome. That yeah, was very nice. I did actually see that. Hmm. Mm. So, Barton saying that, you wouldn't expect anything less from those pair. No. You know, just total gentlemen and real champions. But, um, yeah, that was yeah, that was really good. But, yeah, let's get into the um, the yeah. footy. Mm. Uh, before we say it, but <laughs> I'm not happy. I'm beyond not happy. Like, we all know we've had these the, the, the sagas with who should be sacked, who shouldn't be sacked, and I refuse to get on that. But what I will say is, if our club does not start waking up to itself, we're going to not... Like, how many players have we lost over the last few years? Quite a few. And, and Pierce, Watson, Metaudia, Jesse Sue at the end of the year, Barney. And now... Clamour gets dropped because he's passion. Because he didn't want to come off on the weekend and he squirted a bit of water at our trainer. Then he's now been dropped. Are you serious? <clears throat> I guess they're looking at it like a, a spoiled child situation. If your kid digs their heels in and says no, then you're going to get cranky. But having said that, the Knights need Clamour out there. He's the only one that puts in 110%. Each week. But then you go, you hear a press conference. I haven't got on the back of Adam O'Brien at all, you know. I've been supporting him, but I will tonight. All you hear at this, oh, I've been here all these years, I've done that. Well, if you have, start doing something. Because our club is going downhill big time, and us as fans have had enough. I mean, you're driving away probably the one of the best players we've had at the club in a number of years. And now Parramatta look like want him. If something doesn't happen, he's going to go. I mean, and if the Knights get rid of him, I'll throw in our membership. No, you won't. Yeah, big well, call. Yep. It's a big call. Mm. As far as I'm concerned, if they do that, they can stick that membership where they, you know, it's just absolutely ridiculous. It's supposed to be the fans' club, and they're destroying it. 
Like, we've, you know, we've been getting flogged and putting bad performances on, but this bloke turns up every week and gives us something to cheer about. He shows passion. And they're taking that away, so they're rubbing the fans again. I mean, look at Milford. He didn't want to stay. Clifford's unhappy. How long till Dom Young and Tyson Frizzell want to go? Something's got to, something isn't right and it's got to change because we're losing everyone. And I tell you what, Ponga won't be far behind them. <clears throat> no one will want to stay at our club. We can't even get anyone to come to the club. So I reckon it's about time Phil Gardner and the rest of them start, you know, giving answers. What's going on? And I wasn't one to say that O'Brien should be sacked, but whoever made this decision that Clement needs to be, has to be dropped, I think they need to be dropped. Because if they're going to drop Clamour for the passion that he has... Like, I'll, I'll be honest, I sat there too and I said on the weekend that, you know, what's he getting taken off for? No, I think it was 15 minutes into the game, he got taken off. Mm. And he got taken off, you know, in 15 minutes into the second half. What for? No wonder he was filthy. That's right. And I, I will say, oh, I'm not going to lie, I said to Kylie, I said, he's filthy, he's blowing up. I can't blame him. He's brought to the club to, to play this role and they're taking it away from him. He's got more passion on him than half of, you know, I just... Especially uh, against his old team too. Like, yeah. he probably wanted to play most of the game. But that's the thing too. The fans want to go and see David Clement play for mm. the passion. How many players have you seen in the history of the NRL get a standing ovation when he gets 10 in the bin? Not too many. Mm. That's right. And I'm going to put it out there to the fans, okay? He gets reinstated next week. Let's all get there and fair give it, give Clamour a big reception, mm. you know? And um, show show the club that that's who we want there. Because, yeah, I mean, I might be worked up about it a bit, but enough's enough. You know, like, we've, we've supported this club through thick and thin, and we always will, but I just think the club's <clears throat> gone way downhill this year. And why? We've got... I think it's just stupid things like this that are pushing the club down. Well, this would allude you, allude you to the fact that Clamour should be captain and... 100%. Ponga, Ponga should be... The but they won't. Player. They will no. not make him captain, yeah. I guarantee you. And I will say it now. Has OB got a problem with Clamour? Or does Clamour have a problem? You know, Is there an issue there that needs to be sorted out? If so, grow up, move on. Because he is... He's the the backbone of that. Look how good the Saifidi boys are now. It wasn't our, wasn't our coaching staff that made him that good. I'm telling you that now. It was Clamour taking him under his wing. They even alluded to that's why. And Jacob's certainly come on leaps and bounds since Clamour's been to the mm. club. Jacob's one of the form props of the NRL. Yeah. Overtook his brother. Mm. So, I mean, his brother will bounce back twice as hard next year as well. You take Clamour away. Yeah, it's absolutely disgusting, I think, the way he's been treated. It was a bit of water and, you know, whatever, however he said to the trainer on the field, no one's seen it, no one's heard it. We've seen he was cranky. That's just remi- that's just spells that it's his passionate. That's right. I wonder who the trainer was. Oh, Hayden, no. Hayden Knowles? I don't know, but it also goes back to, I'll put it on here, okay. another thing. Brody Jones, start and lock. Right, how long did Brody Jones get? Thirteen minutes for the whole game. Whole game. Mm. That's sad. So to me, you're thirteen. Are you your best thirteen on the park? You're starting thirteen of the best you got. So how does fifteen minutes work for Brody Jones as being the best out there? Yeah. He sat on the bench for the next forty-five minutes. Didn't didn't move. I think. Adam O'Brien's got a lot of answer to answer for. I'm not saying he he has to go. I'm I will never ride that horse. That's not me. Yeah. I'm not the one to make that thing. But he needs to answer some questions. Yeah. From a fan's point of view, we have questions that need to be answered. Yeah. It's the fans' club. It's supposed to be. We'll start answering the fans' questions because we're the ones. Without us, he has no job. So start answering these questions. I'm not the only one. You get on Facebook today. There's about nine thousand questions about this. Like, you know, we pay our hard-earned money to go to this club each week. Through thick and thin, we have our butts handed to us and we still turn up on the weekend, 19000 And this is the respect we get back. 
I find it very, very hard pill to swallow. But anyway, that's what got Smith across this week. <laughs> At least it wasn't me. No, nah, well, you know, it just shows that, you know, yeah, I'll get worked out, but it's the passion I have for the club, you know? They say you wear your heart on your sleeve. Well, I've got the emblem on my chest, so, you know, it's just... Yeah, yeah. anyway, we'll throw it over to you. I'll probably need another beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just, it's just made you filthy. Like, we've only got a couple of games left of the season, and, you know... That's just one of the highlights of going for the rest of the year is to see the blokes like Clemmer play. You know, like they have a week when he had that dust up with um, South. Like, like. Well, the same with, with um, early in the year with Zach Lomax when, mm. that, you know. I, was, like, I thought I won lottery. I, was, I loved it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, and, yeah, I just think if we let him go, we're crazy. Absolute crazy. And we'll have the spoon for a number of years. Because I reckon if he goes, a lot of players will follow. It's disappointing if they for the spoon if they're going to get it, you know, because the last few years they've been on the way up. Mm. But why? Why are we going down? So what I don't understand is Adam O'Brien comes out and he says, "I've been to all these clubs, I've seen how it goes on, what happens." Especially the Roosters and Melbourne systems who but have been why successful. Why isn't he doing something? I don't understand. If you've seen it, why aren't you doing something? I mean, I'm not getting paid to coach, so I can't answer these questions but these are the questions we want answered I don't know I'm not saying he's a bad coach because he's a good coach but is Newcastle not right for Adam O'Brien or is Adam O'Brien not right for Newcastle you know there might be a club out there that's perfect for Adam O'Brien but is it us hmm. or maybe maybe they need to give me the reins for the rest of the year well, I know where Clem will be playing. Oh, he'll be starting captain there and go tell you. <laughs> anyway, we might take a short break and be back shortly. Hey, Dean, mate. It's Awasa Sue here. Just want to wish you a massive happy birthday, mate. Thanks for all your support throughout the last couple of years, mate. Um, I hope you have a good day. God bless. Alright guys, and welcome back to night time. Continue on with the game, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not much to say again. <laughs> well, oh, well, yeah, there was, how many were at the ground? 19,813. See what I mean? Still, A lot of those Bulldog supporters. There was, but <clears throat> my poll point is still, we're still dr <clears throat> getting big crowds. Regardless, like, we can't win this, uh, any, uh, get to the finals. They're still drawing big crowds. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, they sh we should be rewarded for our, rewar you know, loyalty. They've always brought in big crowds. 100%. It doesn't matter where they're coming in the competition. Hmm. And, I mean, a lot lot more of us would travel more, too, if we didn't have jobs and, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it makes it harder. We just, you know, people at the Hunter love their, their nights. Hmm. And, um, yeah. So One team show. town scenario. That's right. And the former Knights winger, Jacob Kuraz, Kur mm. yeah, scored hat trick. There's another uh, Knights player that we let go. How many have we let go that are in the first grade squad now, like in NRL? I reckon you could make another team of them. There's quite a few. Mm. Phoenix Crosland was put on report. Yeah. Dangerous tackle. <laughs> Jake uh, Averillo. Averillo, yeah. Um, I don't think he got anything off that, but it was just a... Yeah, I haven't heard anything else. Probably mm. just a penalty. Yeah, that's right. But, um, and Ali Tawala, too. Um, he had quite a fair game in, like, I forget what it was. I'll go through my notes. But he had quite a few, um, run meters and, yeah, so he played pretty well, actually. But, uh, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't to be, um... Mm. Well, pretty. I don't think we're in it from the from the kickoff, to be honest. Like once again, just seemed like it only was seemed to. I'm not saying they weren't, but only seemed to be a few of them that were really having a good dig. But and one of them gets dragged off. Well, but, I thought in the early stages of the game when they led 18 zip pretty quickly, I thought this was going to be a mm. a, a very high scoring game mm. like for the dogs and 
when 24-10 actually they pegged it back a bit. So, you know, a bit of, must have had a bit of a go in the second half. I would have liked to have seen Dom Young play fullback. Um, yeah, I'd like to even put him in there this week. Play at the back when there's no Ponga. See how he how he travels with Is that. Is Ponga definitely out for the season now? I don't think it's really come through. I think it could be a play by week by week. I don't think he needs to come back because the Knights mm. are not... Uh, Do you risk They're him? nothing games. No, no, he probably don't. Same with <laughs> Kurt Mann. Mm. You know, like we were speaking to Kurt the other day and you know, he's, he's busting to get back. But I said, mate, really? Wouldn't you be better off getting it, it right for next year? Because he still had the, mm. the the bag and the, the stint up his leg. So I'm like, so how <laughs> they've named him on the extended bench this week is beyond me. There's no way in the world he's going to play. Surely not. So, as I said, you know, wouldn't you be better off concentrating on getting your, your leg 100% for next year? Mm. Ponga might be in contention for the World Cup year, like later on this year in mm. overseas. Well, I see uh, Cy Fidi, uh Daniel, he's ruled himself out. Said he owes a better off-season to the Knights. So that was a pretty humbling of him, you know. <coughs> But saying that, surely Jacob's got to get a start. Yeah. And maybe Daniel, on the back of this, has seen his, how good his brother has gone this year. That's what I like about them pair. If one goes good, the other one goes, well, I've got to roll up my sleeve up and catch Big Bro. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that's a that's a good thing to have. But I'm not going to talk too much on last week's game because I'll just get wound up a bit more. But there's not much you can say, except for how good is Josh at our car, mm. to be honest. Yeah. He's a freak. And Matt Burton. That bomb. Mm. It turned Jeez. Dom Young inside out. He can kick a ball. Mm. You'd, yeah, you'd hate to be his dog, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> but no, definitely he will be in the NFL eventually. So, uh, oh, There's millions of other sporting codes already. AFL, mm. um, Union, NFL, as you said trying to chase Burton already or they haven't seen footage of what he does. Mm. You know, he'd be a great punter in the NFL. 100%. Wouldn't you? I'm not a big NFL fan. So when do they play? Do they play like on a different season to us? Like, you know, a different time of year? Um, yeah, I think from memory, I think they start in December mm. and maybe even earlier than that. And the Super Bowl is usually around February, March. So, te- Technically, I know they wouldn't let him, but he could yeah. go over there, play that, and come yeah. back. Yeah. You'd try, wouldn't you? Yeah. Imagine that. Yeah. Mm. Be the first one to crack it. I think Valentine... Did Valentine get, get a game? Yeah, I, I... Well, Jared Hayne definitely did. Yeah. Hmm. Valentine, I think, Yeah, he's was, playing in the longest yard. Yeah. Valentine, I don't think so. Um, I mm. think he was just in the... Just tr- short. Sh- yeah. Um, and, but a lot of AFL guys have gone over there and, and mm. made it as punters. Yeah, Bennett. Yeah. What's his name, Bennett? Bennett, yeah. Mm. Not Wayne either. No. <laughs> and not Chad, the boxer. No. Anyway, yeah, they'll be after him, that's for sure, but we might do our night of the round. It was a hard one this week, but... Um, mm. was. You know what? Shoot me. Whatever, but I'm going to give free to Clem this week. Because he, he, uh, yeah, just with the, everything that's gone through and he tried, but I'll give it to him. The club's not, so I'll give it to him. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And and Ali got my two. I thought, you know, he played pretty well. And, yeah, Dom Young gets my one. But special mention, Tyson Frizzell. Always tries every week. Certainly does. Mm. Yes, it was a hard one. My three go to Tex Hoy. He actually had a pretty oh, good yes. game. Oh, yeah, mm. yeah, he did actually. Two go to Braley and one to Tuala. Mm. All right, well, I'm going to go actually with Tex. With, he played really well. Go to Tuala. I'm actually going to give the other point to the crowd, as if that's allowed, because they turn up every mm. week. They should be the ninth, the 18th man should be one point this week, mm. if that's allowed. That's my shirt. I can't excuse me. Keeping you awake, are oh, we? Yeah. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. It's been mm. a long week. It's going to be an even longer week. Mm. I tell you. But, um, 
Yeah, night of the round. So what caught my eye? Oh, my eye! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. What caught my eye? What's up? Wasn't it West on the weekend? Mm-hmm. Was, it was a beautiful wife. Anyway, we'll start with you, Corey. What caught my eye? Um, I'm just trying to remember, actually. I didn't watch too many games over the weekend. Mm, same. But the send-off of Burgess in the Souths game. That was pretty... I don't know. All right. What did you think of that? Overreaction. Yes. Did it warrant a penalty? Definitely. And that's it. Maybe on report. Yes. But the send-off was a bit harsh? Yes. Which then led them to go on and win the game. Yeah. He's got one match um, banned. Yeah, I thought that was a bit harsh. Two. Because you've got prior records too. And Jaden Sue have got a week f- or maybe missing, or maybe we're fine for pulling some hair. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was a bit of a dog <laughs> act, but that's dog Luciano. act. Luciano. Then uh, Corey Hawera Naira, when he was playing for Penrith. <laughs> it was actually Anthony <laughs> Milford, if I remember correctly. He was playing for the Broncos. Pulled chunks. I mean, you could see he would had two goes. <laughs> I do remember this, yes. And he was running back to his defensive line, and he's got Harawira's Nora hair in his hands. <laughs> but it'd be hard not to pull hair, because if it's there, it's there for the grabbing. Like, he's just running along. <laughs> well, back in the day when I played, we never pulled hair. Mm. You know, so... Um, Get with the times, though. You pull my hair. That's different. A bit of shenanigans, but um, you know what I mean. That's just a yeah. I find that a low. That's that's in the same category as an eye gouge for me. So um, yeah, it's cheating. Anyway, well, that's what, what I caught my eye. So. Mm. Well, we also didn't watch too many games over the weekend for obvious reasons, but um, I heard that Latrell Mitchell missed three field goals. Mm, he did. Were they shockers? Um, the the first two were mm. the the last one was from about thirty forty out. Um, it was a pretty good strike, but it was just a lot of there was just pressure on him. So yeah. you know, but um, it, obviously it's cost them the game. Not mm. so much him, but mm. just you know the seven tackle sets, the the send off now, the penalty, mm. you know, and then the field position to get. The, the one point to go over. So, mm. yeah. Um, mm, fair enough. Well, you know what caught my eye? Can somebody at the Canterbury Club tell what your what, bloke of Vaughan that used to play for you, the barbecue boy? Yeah, Paul Vaughan, yeah, the Italian stallion. Mm. Yeah, can you tell him that he has to get a bigger pair of shorts? <laughs> I don't think he likes to. No, obviously not, because yeah. I think he wore my son's shorts and they were tiny. <laughs> I just You look at him all and then all of a sudden he said this, Big boy with these little pair of tiny pants on your head. No. Well, at least they can't get pulled down. <laughs> Not much time. to pull down. Yeah, might have a voice left. But yeah, I, I give him a bit when he's walking past. I asked him what time you, the barbecue was on. Did you give him a bit? Did you? Hmm. He didn't answer me. Oh, <laughs> there you go. I didn't get an invite to the next barbecue. You didn't. Anyway. 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 All right, guys. We might take another short break and be back shortly. Alright guys, welcome back. And uh, on the line tonight we've got a special guest with us, Troy Danfield. If you haven't noticed before, Troy's got a little girl, Grace, that's um, been in and out of hospital sick with uh, uh, from Ronald McDonald House and things like that. So we're just going to have a chat with Troy. Are you there, buddy? Yeah, good day, Dean. How are you, mate? Yeah, good champion, mate. Uh, you got a little event coming up soon as well. Yeah, mate. Yeah, we we, yeah, we definitely do, Dean. Uh, it's something that we uh, t- take uh, pretty serious every year. Um, what we actually do is uh, we participate in what what they call the uh, Big Walk, little kids. Basically, what it does is it uh, raises money for camp quality. And I'm not sure if anyone has uh, experienced what uh, we did when uh, our world just sort of tipped upside down in November 2020 when we got the diagnosis of Grace's leukemia. But camp quality, mate, they don't only just look after the kid that's got the illness. I've got a, um, my young bloke, he's 10, um, mad footy fan, loves the night, plays for uh, West here in Newcastle. And the things that, that they offer for the siblings and things like that, uh, to get them involved, because as you can imagine, for a uh, 
for a sibling, uh, all the attention's going to the, to the mm. sick daughter, so to speak, and the, uh, the, the other kids miss out, but with camp quality, mate, they, um, they make sure that everyone's involved and, uh, and keep the siblings involved as well. So we, we, uh, we try and walk each year and, uh, basically, uh, raise as much as we can to give back to this charity, uh, that supports, as I said, not only the, uh, the child with the illness, but, uh, actually the siblings and the families as well. Yeah, mate, it's a terrible thing. So, uh, mate, tell us a little bit about the the walk. Where is it going to be at and uh, when? So, yeah, basically what, what we're planning this year. So, so the walk, it, it's so anyone can just nominate and uh, nominate a distance of where they want to walk. But we're, we're going to go a little bit further this year. So what we're doing is trying to arrange our own uh, walk within the walk, so to speak. Uh, I've been speaking to Samara at Camp Quality, at Camp Quality there. And what we're actually going to do is do a 10k walk, starting at uh, Islington Park, and walk into Nobby's and back to Islington Park. Now, if people can't walk that distance, obviously it's a two-way track. So if people people only want to do 5k, by all means they can uh, pull it up and uh, and come back and, and just do the distance they can. Just all about rallying around, mate, and giving the support and uh, seeing how much money we can actually raise for Grace. Yeah, that's the go, mate. So uh, us here at night time have jumped on board, and we're gonna we're gonna promote and push this every year. This is going to be a big thing for us, and uh, so we're calling the night time big walk for little kids. So we're gonna get on board every year, and we're gonna help push it, and we're gonna go. You'll see us out there in our little little pants. Hey, and, do you reckon you'll make ten k's, mate? Oh, uh, have you got the defibrillator on standby? Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah, we've got that. We've got all that. So anyone that's worried, mate, we've got all that there ready to go. Mate, uh, I'm going to give it a crack. I'm going to f- give it a fair crack and uh, tell you what, I'll even push myself as far as I say I'll make it, just just, just for the kids. And what date is this happening? Seven, seven, 17th of... Because uh, the big walk's actually uh, in September. So yeah. what we're planning um, for people who are looking to uh, clock up a few extra Ks, we're planning on the 17th of uh, September nice. to get that happening. So, uh, and what time was it? Was it 9 o'clock? Any chance nine, we could kick nine, it off nine, a bit earlier? Five. 9 o'clock. 5 in the morning? Yeah, 5 sounds well, good. We, we might need a head start. <laughs> We're that unfit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking the earlier the better. Nice sunrise walking up to the beach. Well, we can go for breakfast. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah, you will need the defibrillator. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, anyone out there that wants to get involved that can't make the day or would like to even make a donation or something we can use to raffle off or auction off and the money go to uh, to that as well, by all means, get in contact with us or if you're a business that wants to get involved, we'll, yeah. Have a... I'll check the link then if you want to uh, want to put that up. So yes. you can uh, see the link and... Uh... As I said, anyone that wants to jump on board or anyone that may be even doing the walk, because basically it, it's a collective as well. So anyone that may be even doing the walk, considering it, and what, wants to join a team, well, boys, jump on board and uh, and join Team Grace. Happy we've got the team open, so as many people as we can uh, get on board, that'd be great. Tell you what, we might have to get young Grace a little nighttime shirt for the day, eh? Hey, by all means. <laughs> get her a little by night. All, hey, but mate, mate, make sure you grab two because the young bloke will go mental if he doesn't get one. <laughs> <laughs> mate, we might even be able to get four, right? Eh? Get one for you and the missus as well. Yeah, so, uh, you know, it's, it'll be a good day. And uh got a special friend of mine. And, uh, and I know he's been in touch with you. He's a regular listener of the show. I just thought to uh, have a bit of a, uh, give him a bit of a plug. Leslie Gover. Yes. Um, for, for anyone that knows, Les gets right amongst it. Uh, he dyes his hair. He uh, basically... Uh, raffles off the hair colour, so to speak, to get these big donations. And this year he's actually come up with another plan. And he's, uh, as you know, mate, times are tough at the moment to, to give out money and things like that. And he's tough. And he, he's combated that by a different way this year, old Les. And he's going, you just give away one coffee. Give me away one coffee. So he's just plugging away mm. uh, and just getting a coffee donation, so to speak. But uh, he's from... Uh, down in uh, the Sutherland Shire there and uh, mate, he gets out and gets into it and dipping and all sorts of stuff, mate. He, uh, he really gets into it, Les. No, oh, he's a champion guy, mate. Like, mm. you know, you'd only have to say, you know, oh, I need a hand. He'd, he'd be one of the first guys there to help you out. Mm. So, yeah, no, that's it. Mate, I tell you what, we look forward to it. I actually do, eh? Mm. Looking forward to so it. So do I, actually. I'm, and, um, I'm losing some weight. 
Yeah, well, we're going for breakfast first, so we're, I'm putting some on. Oh, but, <laughs> <laughs> and then walking off. But, yeah, no, nah, we'll, uh, we'll be there. I'll, uh, I'll, sure. I'll be at the front there so, so everyone else can carry me the rest of the way. But um, we'll be out there having a, having a go, mate, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll bring as many as we can with us as well. Mm. No, nah, that'd be good, mate. That'd be uh, really good. Appreciate it. And as I said, uh, if you can't make it, get on board. Uh, no, do- no donations too small, and uh, dig as deep as you can. I tell you what, too. I'm going to throw it out there too. We're going to throw a lucky entrance, a lucky uh, walkers prize. So everyone that goes on the day, then the show's going to offer a little lucky walkers prize. So we'll have a little prize there. So everyone that enters will, you know, got a chance to win something anyway. So uh, we'll throw that out there as well. You want to be quiet? Anyway, mate, um, how are we going to go on the weekend? Uh, yeah, it's going to be tough down there at Campbelltown. Then Tigers are on fire. Yeah. So if very unlucky to lose against the Cowboys, but I won't go there. Everyone's had their uh, say on that. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it'll, it'll be tough. It'll mm. be tough. But uh, we never give up, mate. Never give up. No, uh, that's right, mate. The you never do, do you? But, mate, we might uh, monitor how the young, young girls go on as well throughout the year and have updates and, um, yeah, just keep in touch and anything that we can do, just, yeah, by all means, just give us a yell. That'd be really good. Mate, uh, we look forward to it and uh, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll have you on there. Before, we'll get you on, maybe get you in before the, before the night as well and uh, drum up a few more entries. That'd be good, mate. That'd be good. I really appreciate it. Nah, mate. Think nothing of it, mate. We're glad to help. You know, uh, yeah, we couldn't, can't help enough. So, uh, mate, appreciate you coming on and look forward to the walk and um, talk soon, eh? Yes. Too Thanks, easy. Guys. Thanks, appreciate you. it. See you, Troy. Take care. Take care. Bye. 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 All right, guys, we might take another short break and be back shortly. All right, all right, guys, and welcome back, and it's time for Around the Grounds. And joining us again this week now is our resident across the ditch, Scott Fletcher. How are you going, How's it going, guys? Good, mate. Good, good, good. good. How are the Broncos going? Uh, yeah, let's uh, talk about something else. <laughs> <laughs> We're all losers this week. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> Yes, it was a show that wasn't it? Winners and losers. Well, mm. yeah, we're on the losers. losers and losers. Mm. Anyway, we'll yeah. get into we'll get into all the games and uh, have except a for bit. floorboard Gary here, he's he should be pretty happy about last week. What do you call him, floorboard? Yeah, floor boy. Floor boy. Yeah. He's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, floorboard. Yeah, that's a new one. Anyway, um, yeah, Sea Eagles over the against the Roosters. Uh, sea Eagles ten, Roosters twenty. Mm. Mm. I I must say they did have their seven sooks out, so to speak. Um, but those young, those ones that they replaced them with, oh mate, I heard they were putting bets on at the tab. Oh, were they? No, I was just joking. Oh, well, there you go. But how good were the uh, the players that come in to replace them? They did play well. Yes. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would leave them in. Why should they come in for this week, like last week, to cover because they refused to play and play a good game there and get dropped for it? No bloody way. What do you reckon, Scott? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I didn't actually watch the game. Uh, I just watched the highlights. Um, I thought um, the Roosters should have played a lot better. Um, so in saying that... Um, the, the seven replacements did play well, and um, well, with with them coming back, they uh, they all back, all seven of them back. Five of them, Scotty. Oh, just five of them. Yeah, um, yeah well, it's it's hard. Like if you yeah. if you want to, um, you know, not play because of a certain reason, then you may as well miss two or three weeks or something. I just think you it's know? pretty poor. Like these ones come in. On you know a spur of a moment's mm. notice, really did an exceptional job, 
And there you go to say, oh, sorry, thanks for filling the gap, but you're out again. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, Pretty hard. There was some young bloke that debuted and he um, he made a promise to his mum who passed away that he would make it to the NRL and he did. Um, so it was a bittersweet moment for him. Mm. Um, yeah. Mm. I think it's just, yeah, they uh, they need to be picked again, but yeah, they played well. Anyway, the Warriors, 12 over um, against the Storm, 24. Oh, did you see, uh, I must say, but did you, did you watch it? Any of you watching? I, yeah, I watched a bit of that game. Did you see where Dallin took it, accidentally took out Nick Meany? And Nick Meany. Um, Nick Meany fell nah, on his head. But, that, yeah, I thought that was pretty harsh call, but they're both going for the mm. ball. Uh, Dallin Martini, yep. L- no, Lesniak is in the air. Like, you know, he's probably a metre in the air, gliding yep. through the air. How's he supposed to pull out of that when he's in the air? Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> then he collides with Meany, and Meany, Meany did fall pretty awkwardly. But what could he do? He's in the air. I just think that was a pretty harsh call. Did he come off with injury? I didn't. I just, I yeah, didn't Nick Meany did. He come off. Yeah. But that end of the day it was just playing football they're both going for the ball yeah. he's in the air gliding through the air he can't go stop turn it was a pretty ordinary call but anyway muchly needed win for the storm here mm. yeah well they broke the goose's egg didn't it where the you know the uh, what was that going to be three or four in a row they lost if they lost that one would have been five. Oh, five was it oh even more well, there you go so I, I didn't think they played all that flash no mm. I think the Warriors have just played poorly mm. Well, Harris yeah. Savita's season's over now. Or it could be over. Yeah. MCL. Mm. Yeah, he won't come back from MCL. So does that mean that's his career gone now? Because wasn't he retiring? That's correct. Yeah, Harris to, um, to Vita, that's a That's a waste of talent there. I, I rate him. I reckon he's as good as Reese Walsh. But, yeah, hanging up the boots. So, um, hmm. He'll anyway. be back. I did see the Warriors today have signed Tamari Martin for the next year. Oh, right, eh? Yeah. That's a uh, a big loss for the uh, Broncos? Yeah. They've been um, that was always happening. Oh, that it was, was, was it? That was always happening. Yeah, so um, when we were, uh, when Reese Walsh uh, signed with us, they were, it was basically a swap. Oh, uh, right, eh? Yeah. So it, it just wasn't con- confirmed until today. Yeah. Until it was good to see Tamari. Whatever it was. Good to see Tamari back on the park too. After you know he's yeah. he's mm. what he's had gone through in the last couple. Well, he said he'd never play again. Yeah, and come back and now he's yeah. killing it. Yeah, so, yeah, good on him. Yeah, but... he played the the couple of games he's played for the Broncos. He played really well. Mm. Um, then yeah. he then he uh, got injured, so he'll be back. He'll, he'll probably get another game or two before the end of the season for us. Mm. Yeah, very very uh, good story that. Of how you know yeah. he's come back, but yeah, the uh, skip skip that one. Yeah, the Parramatta River Worms no, against Titans and Raiders against the uh, <laughs> Penrith Panthers. I tell you what, the Penrith Panthers played well in the second half. To have twelve men and their chief playmaker yep. gone, and you know to only lose thirty four ten against you know a pretty handy and um, you know Eagles side, it shows that. They're not gone. You know, people are writing mm. them off now, clear he's gone. I t- uh, you know, Kylie was... Oh, mate, i tell you what. I thought I was going to be killed when Cleary got sent off. But you look at it as a positive out of this negative. Yeah, he's gone for... What was it? Five. Five weeks. Five, five weeks. Jerome Lewis still got five weeks out. I reckon Isaiah Yeo will do the Hang donkey work there. Hang on a second. And... They're out for the season now, right? They've got how many points ahead of anyone else? Six. Six. <laughs> how many rounds left? Four, I think. No, this is round 20. 20, so there's 21, five. maybe 2021. Yeah, so this is round 21. Five, five games left, yeah. yeah. Five games. So realistically, they've only got to win one or two to be assured the minor premiership. Two, two, to, two to get it because their points differentials. Massive. Mm. Uh, so two definitely. So two out yeah. of five is doable. Who you got in the next couple of weeks? 
Um, well, I was I, I watched the video today, and it had um, um, the who's I've got. I think they got Raiders, yeah, um, Storm, um, uh, the Warriors, Ra- and what, what they were, what they were saying was mm. is uh, Rabbitohs. Yeah, uh, they were saying they're going to lose four and only beat the Warriors. No. no, no. <laughs> And no. I was just like, whatever. Not a chance, you know. But the thing is, and then you'll have Luai and and um, Cleary back. First week of finals, fit as a fiddle. Yeah. So it's going to work, you know, it's probably a blessing in disguise. That And they've got their halves that are, can replace them, which is Kurt Falls. Is he fit yet? Or yeah, they've still, named him. Still injured. Oh, is he? Hmm. Oh, I think so, yeah. Well, they've got Silly Salmon um, replacing Luai. Silly Salmon? <coughs> the Silly Salmon. Um, and Jamin Salmon and um, O'Sullivan. So, <clears throat> I mean, there's they're some pretty classy halves as well. Plus, you'll see the... Um, Kurt Foles is reserved. Oh, there you go. You'll see um, Isaiah Yo step up big time. So, I don't see it. You know, people are, oh, they're gone. They're not gone. They're not going at all. It's probably just a good little rest for these guys That's before right. the finals. That's exactly yeah. right. So you know, we'll be this... able to gauge this weekend against the Raiders because the Raiders are really improving. Mm. No, I don't think you uh, can because give, give it the week after. Give them a week to start those two gel. You'll be fine. So it's safe to say you're not tipping the Panthers this weekend. Oh, I don't know. To be honest, I haven't really had a look at them. But what I'm saying is, um, I wouldn't be worried. I wouldn't be concerned at all. I'm always concerned. And you'll finish in the top four, so you'll have two bites of the cherry. You'll probably finish minor premiers. And you'll have two fit halves. We come. don't want the minor premiership. We want the, the big one. Well, Yeah, but to me, a minor premiership is just as important as the grand final because you're the best team that whole year. Well, they had to do it the hard way last year. They got mm. beat by Souths, didn't they? And then they mm-hmm. won the whole thing. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be too concerned, but... We won't start it too much. It'll give you too much of a headache. Oh, well, there's that tackle from Cleary. Yeah, well, the Cleary tackle too. Thoughts, yeah. Scotty? Sorry, what was that? What, what are your thoughts on that tackle? Yeah, um, definitely should have got five weeks. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I mean, why, why would you do something like that? You know, you, you, you train, you're trained to tackle it, you know, during the week. Mm-hmm. I mean, they don't train to do that, so why do it? Like, I guess you got to ask a manly player too in round two or four. Yeah, I think it's just a brain snap. Carl Lawton, that yeah. was him. You know, I think they don't, or especially Cleary. I don't think Cleary's a dirty player. I think it's just a brain snap of not thinking. But you know what? Yeah, but I, you have to. I can't get over the fact that he wore golden boots. If you're going to wear golden boots. Play like you're wearing golden boots. Mm. Not, not do silly things. Maybe go to the Golden Globes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if he had a golden ticket. <laughs> and I commend the Parramatta players. Like when you're when one of your players get hurt, the first thing you want to do is fight and stick up for that player. Yeah. None of them wanted to cause any drama. Like you watch it, none of them wanted to bash Cleary. Probably because yeah. they know Cleary's not a dirty player. But I give them credit for. You know, not like if that was. Clever. Yeah, I noticed that when I was watching that live. I noticed, I noticed that first thing. Yeah. Uh, that none of the Eels players ran in to push him over or start yeah. something. A eh? and I was yeah, like, "Whoa, sucks. what's going on here? Yeah. Am I watching? Bloody, am I watching the NRL? Yeah. <laughs> Bloody sucks. Awesome. No, I liked it. I liked it a lot. <laughs> no. No. Well, look, it probably was an, an accident. Like mm. that's that's clear. He's not a dirty player. So hmm. I believe that, you know, he's obviously got his technique wrong and straight after the game yeah. or the next day he's gone onto Twitter or and he's apologised straight away. Yeah, you can see him when he walked off. He owned it. Yeah, he yeah. slapped and his he'll head. And learn, he'll learn from it. A valuable hmm. lesson. Hmm. No, to be honest, I'd say his mental health at the moment is not the best. You know, I think And that's why he's staying off social media. I'd say he's one that probably takes it to heart like that. And as you would, you know, you mm. don't go out there deliberately trying to hurt anyone. And thank God... Um, Jack Brown was, what's his name? Dylan Brown was okay. So. <laughs> Jack Brown. <laughs> so, you, know, you know, you don't want to see anyone get hurt. So, especially. No. Uh, speaking of getting hurt, um, in tackles, we are uh, at, uh, where were we the other day? Sunday. Sunday. 
Alex McKinnon. Ran into Alex McKinnon. Having breakfast? Oh, no. Katara. Katara, yeah. Mm. So, yeah, you don't want to see anyone get hurt. Um, no. Yeah, unless you play for the Eels. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, you don't want to see anyone get hurt. So it's good that he yeah. didn't get hurt and, you know, yeah. it's uh, He'll learn from it and be a better player from it. So, uh, yeah, the Titans, 24. Um, the Raiders, 36. The Titans are just... They're in the same boat as Newcastle. We just something's not right. Something's not right. They've got some good classy players, but just nothing's happening. But uh, Raiders, Raiders, yeah, they're on a roll at the moment. The Raiders, aren't they? Hmm. And uh, yeah, Adam Elliott's playing some good footy. So. I, I felt that the Raiders should have done better. Hmm. Yeah, I thought that. I've been thinking that all year, but the Raiders should be better. The Raiders should be up yeah. higher in the ladder than they are. Yeah, um, I mean they got some classy players in Tarpane, um, some classy backs in Tim- Timiko and the other centre. I'm not quite sure of his name, but he's he's mm. pretty good as well. Even the young oh, Sebastian uh, Chris, there yeah. you go. And um, yeah, something's just not not quite right there. I mean, got some classy players: yeah. hey, um, Hudson Young, Tommy Starling, Corey Harrier, and Ira. So I mean, on paper they've got a good side. That's Jack just, Whiten. Mm. Uh, yeah, hopefully uh, Adam Elliott keeps playing like that and brings it to Newcastle next year. So uh, well, yeah. apparently, the Titans hooker Aaron Booth was not penalised or cited by the match review committee for a cannonball-style tackle on Tarpanay. Not even a penalty. Yeah, that was a bit harsh. That's why Tarpanay blew up. Mm. I mean, yeah. Why wasn't it a penalty? Well, Tarpanay was sinbin for an alleged punch. It was handbags. Mm. Like, seriously, did you see it? it that, so he got bin for a punch. After being tackled. My cat stuff. could have swung harder than that. Seriously, there was nothing there. That was absolute garbage. It was handbags. To be sim bin for that, that's an embarrassment, to be mm. honest. Most of the sim bins this year have been an embarrassment. Mm. <laughs> anyway, the Sharks, 21 over the Rabbits, 20. It decided from a... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Tommy Burgess, is it Tommy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tommy, I get more mixed up. One of them. Tommy Burgess, uh, head eye tackle. How did you see that? I couldn't believe how he reacted after he got sent. Like he'd done nothing wrong. I didn't think it was too bad, to be honest. I mean, it warranted a penalty, but I didn't know if it, a send off. Well, it, to me, it looked like he'd done it with force, and mm. you know. And I suppose he has um, got a pretty bad record too. So uh, yeah, and yeah. and he got seen, and his reaction was like, you know, I've done nothing wrong. It was like, yeah, you did. Yeah, but <laughs> who does that put you in mind of? JWH, same kind yeah. of, you know, he does that, and you go, oh, what, well, what? Well, on the yeah, we'll get into that in a minute. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, yeah, I'm happy with it. But made one one point, good game. Uh, well, what's his name? Yeah, Latrell needs to work on his um, yeah. uh, drop goal. Well, and and the conversion, um, he nearly missed that mm-hmm. that last try. And Nico Hines seals the goal, win the game. Yeah. Special mention again for Alex Johnson. You know, he's now just broken into the top ten of all time leading try scorers. Considering they didn't want him. No. 159 he is. The record is 212. <clears throat> I'm not sure how old he is and how long he's got, but I reckon he's, he'll break he's the record. 27. Is he that he's old? only 27. Oh, he'll mm. smash that yeah. record then. And they he'll didn't smash want it. Like, he's playing yeah. for peanuts. He's mm. playing for absolutely yeah. no money at all. And he's probably their best player week in, week out, without yeah. a doubt. I know Latrell and I, Cody Walker. I Walker. reckon he'll, he'll get the record and he'll still play another season after that, mm. unless injuries, of course. But I know Cody Walker and Latrell get all the raps, but this bloke, seriously, yep. he does everything for South. And he's, like I said, they didn't want him, and he said, I'll play for pretty much nothing. And then all of a sudden they wanted him. So yeah. I, I think something needs to be done about a new contract for that bloke. He's just as good as a fullback as he is a winger, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But he, to me, he's as important to that team as, like, Say Caleb Palmer is to the Knights, yeah. you know what I mean, and I just don't. I just yeah, he should be paid yeah. more. Anyway, 
next one was a pretty boring game. The Broncos, 18 over <laughs> <laughs> West Tigers, 32. Did you see that one coming? Uh, no. Well, actually, um, during the week, I was I was thinking, what's going to happen? Are the, are the Tigers going to be pissed off from last week and and play well against us, or is it going to be totally opposite? Are they going to be pissed off and we're just going to smash them? <laughs> I tell you what, um, I was in two two minds. Um, yeah, the the beast has awakened. And the Tigers are yep. going to be a force to be reckoned with next year. I'm telling that, you. They've got the Knights this week, eh? Yeah, thanks for reminding us about that one, mate. Thank uh, you. So, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, the, I'm expecting a pretty big yeah, scoreline on us this week. Um, Jackson Hastings is out. That's a good Hey, yeah. hey you, never, you never know. They might turn up and go, we've, we've, we've done what we wanted to do and get a win. We'll just play like we have been all season and Knights will smash them. Yeah, dreams are free, buddy, but anyway. Knights and smash <laughs> don't go together. Yeah, no. <laughs> Our enforcer is gone, so that's not going to happen. How good is Adam Dewey? Yeah. yeah, Adam Dewey's a good, you know, I rate him. He's yeah. very, you yeah, know. He's only played, what, a handful of games this season? But I'll tell you what, they need to get rid of Jackson Hastings. Get rid of him now and send him well, up they to did. And send him up to yeah. Newcastle. The, the Broncos did that for you. Yeah, Car- yeah. Carrigan's and got a send him, send him up to Newcastle. I heard Luke Brooks was on the radar still. <laughs> no, he can stay there, thank you. <laughs> but Jackson Hastings, um, credit to him too. Broken leg on crutches still. This is another thing the Knights management need to look at. Went around the whole ground on crutches signing autographs. Mm. Like, come on. Good on him. Mm. Um, from that, Patrick Carrigan's got a four-week suspension. Yeah. I don't know about that. I thought he would have got more, so that's that's a good result. Mm. What do you reckon? Yeah, so he'll be back for round 25 against the Dragons. How good is he come Well, he can go. Year, he can but... have another week off. <laughs> 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 How good does he come this year, Bob? Excuse me, Scotty. Yeah, very good. Yeah, he's mm. he's been he's been probably our stand, standout player. Mm. Yeah, no, very. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty impressed with him this season. But uh, so we're gonna we're gonna miss him over the next few weeks. Mm. But yeah, I mean, just like just like Cleary with the Panthers, mm. he's gonna be fresh for the finals. Fresh as the daisy. Um, yeah. St. George, Illawarra. No, you missed one. No, I didn't. The Knights, 10, <laughs> Bulldogs, 24. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Eh? Yeah, well, we have, we've covered this one earlier. The Knights didn't turn up. The Bulldogs were hungrier. And Who was, who's the winger? Is that, what's his name? Carraz. Yeah. Car- yeah. That, Jacob Carraz. Um, he got a hat trick, didn't he? Yes. Yes, former Newcastle yeah. Knight that we let go. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've got I've got him in my uh, super coach team. So I was stoked about that. Oh, nice. <laughs> so um, he actually top scored for me. I team. I was a bit disappointed. Honestly, I thought Dom Young would have played a lot better than he did. Like he can't play superstar every week. I get that, but I was really hoping to see him and uh, at a car go at it. He kept coming in yep. off the wing. Yeah, but that was, you know, I heard people going, "Oh, he's coming in." Why did he come in? Because his centre, gay guy, was coming in. So he had to come in then. So all the blokes inside him kept moving in, so he had no choice. So, I mean, that side's got to look at their defensive pattern. But, yeah, how good of a sensation is he, Dom Young? You'd like to see him in the Broncos colours, wouldn't you? Um, nah. Oh, what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, the last one, wrap it up. Nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> the ever, well, they're doing better than us. The Dragons versus the Cowboys, eight, thirty-four to eight. Cowboys, Cowboys. I was, I was so close to tipping the Dragons after what they did last week. Lucky you didn't. I wasn't. Uh, I tipped them, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> they're honestly was... to. The surprise package of the year for me is the Cowboys. I had yep. the, I had them getting the spoon and have a look at them. I tell you what, I'll go as, you know, they will be one of the teams in the grand final, along with Panera. Uh, nah, nah. <laughs> hmm. uh, I'm still going with Broncos Panthers. 
<laughs> That'll be good because at least you get a wing there, Don. A win. A win. Mm. <laughs> Over the Broncos. I'm not that confident. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> all right, champion. Thanks for joining us again this week. And um, yeah, all good guys. Go the go the uh, Broncos for you, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I'd say go the Knights. Yep. But I don't think anything. Thursday night. We got we got a Thursday game this week, so nice. Um, that's that's um, that doesn't finish until sort of midnight my time. Oh no! And then by the time I wind down, um, jump into bed, it's like twelve thirty one o'clock, and up at six for work. So what time, sorry? I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm up at six six in the morning for work, and I'm usually a zombie on a Friday if I if I stay out for a Thursday game. What do you have for dinner that <laughs> night? Fish and chips, oh, something <laughs> greasy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> couple of couple of bourbons. <laughs> so you've got yourself a little page you've made up too, I believe. Yeah. Um, so it's um, oh, can't even remember the name. Oh, it's, um, it's that good. It's yeah. Around the grounds with Scotty Fletcher. Around, around the grounds with Scotty Fletcher. Yes. So um, have a look for it on Facebook and um, join up. Uh, so it's only just started. Uh, yeah, I'll try and um, keep keep it um, updated as much as I can. Too easy, so, mate. Yeah. All right, champion. Thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you again next week. Yeah, no worries. Too see, easy. See you, Scotty. Take care. Sweet. See ya. All right, guys. That was our resident across the ditch, Scotty Fletcher. So we'll take a short break and be back shortly. All right, guys, and welcome back, and it's time for a bit of humour with the crazy ladies' jokes of the week. Ha! 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 Radio. A bakery owner hires a young female clerk who likes to wear a very short skirt and thong panties. One day, a young man enters the store, glances at the clerk and at the loaves of bread behind the counter. Noticing her short skirt and the location of the raisin bread, he has a brilliant idea. I'd like some raisin bread, please, the man says. The clerk nods and climbs up the ladder to reach the raisin bread located on the top shelf. The man, standing almost directly beneath her, is provided with an excellent view, just as he thought. When she descends the ladder, he decides that he better get two loaves, as he is having company for dinner. As the clerk retrieves the second loaf of bread, one of the other male customers notices what's going on and requests his own loaf of raisin bread. After many trips, she is tired, irritated and begins to wonder why the unusual interest in the raisin bread. Atop the ladder one more time, she looks down and glares at the men standing below. Then she notices an elderly man standing amongst the crowd. Thinking that she can save herself a trip, she yells at the elderly man, Is it raisin for you too? No, stammers the old man, but it's quivering a little. You got another one? There was no laughing. I was. I was laughing. Another one? Yeah. Because that was just so funny. That was a build up. <laughs> the entree. All right. A man returns home a day early from a business trip. It's after midnight. When While en route home, he asks the cabbie if he would be a witness. The man suspects his wife is having an affair and he wants to catch her in the act. For $100, the cabbie agrees. Quietly arriving home, the husband and cabbie tiptoe into the bedroom. The husband switches on the lights, yanks the blanket back and there is his wife in the bed with another man. The husband puts a gun to the naked man's head. The wife shouts, Don't do it! I lied when I told you I inherited money. He paid for the Porsche I gave you. He paid for our new cabin cruiser. He paid for your swan season ticket. He paid for our house at the lake. He paid for your African tour and even the 4x4. Four, four four. He paid for our country club membership and he even pays my credit card bill. Shaking his head from side to side, the husband lowers the gun. He looks over at the cabbie and says, What would you do? The cabbie replies, I'd cover him up with that blanket before he catches a cold. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't got another one? I do, but I'll save them. Oh, mate. I was given given one. Not the Harley one again. No, no, <laughs> no. I'll save that for special occasions, that okay. one. 
A pair, a pair of cows were talking in the field. One says, have you heard about mad cow disease that's going around? Yeah, the other cow says, makes me glad I'm a penguin. Because it's mad. That was from our editor, Adam. <laughs> oh, mate, I tell you, that was a good one. But, um, yeah, uh, two guys walk into a bar, third one ducks. <laughs> <laughs> and that's me for the night. Uh, <laughs> I haven't got many good ones this way. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, I had to make her look good. So, is that you for the night, is it, Don? It is, yes. All right. So uh, we'll catch you next week. Bye. So uh, as the crazy lady heads off, we might head off to another short break and be back shortly. Hey Smitter, happy birthday mate, uh, hope it's good, hope Carly support you, um, yeah you deserve it, everything you do mate, uh, yeah you're a flat out man, so I uh, hope it was good and uh, wish Cruz happy birthday as well. Alright guys and welcome back, it's that time of the night again, it's time for Chalking Schmidt. Chalking Schmidt. Who we got there? Hey mate, it's Kieran. How are we? Uh, g'day, Kieran. Uh, mate, uh, welcome to the show. What question you got for us, mate? Uh, just a quick one for you tonight. Uh, what's the go with Clemmer? The best player of the night's being left out of the team, mate. I missed the game on Sunday, so yeah, it's come out today that uh, he wasn't happy with getting um, not a lot of game time. Didn't want to come off, and rightly so. So apparently, you know, heat of the moment as you know, you do, you say, probably say something you probably shouldn't or, you know, later on think, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. And, right, um, I should have worded that different, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, just squirted the trainer with a little bit of water. Now the club has, you know, has decided to stand him down. I'm, I, mate, <laughs> I really got, uh, yeah, into it early in the show, but I just, yeah, I'm, I'll ask, let you ask one of the other boys because I get too fired up. <laughs> Yeah, right, yeah, copy, copy, understandable, mate. Corey? Uh, well, look, you know, I don't think he uh, deserves to be, um, s- s- you know, have a week off for this. I think it's like he's on detention. Mm. Yeah, but, yeah you he's know, got a little bit hard-handed. Well, it's just showing he's, he's passionate about the club. He wants to play. He wants to do the right thing for the club. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly right. He's got a bit of heart about him. I shouldn't, yeah. You know, like, okay, so... If Adam O'Brien has a little bit of a cranky or a dummy spit, which apparently it had had with Joey through the year, do they stand him down? No, no, yeah, exactly right. If it was Caelan Ponga that had that, would they stand him down? Yeah, no, no way. I just, yeah, so. I just hope that he's not getting made to be pushed out the door. Oh, right, right, yeah. They might be trying, yeah, copy man, right, yeah. Hopefully not, but... Um, Fingers crossed, because he's a bloody gun player. Yeah, and, you know, like we said there before, um, you know, we've best lost... The field. Yeah, best player on the field by a country mile all year. Oh, and, easy, mate, easy, yeah. And, uh, you know, like, we haven't had many many wins, but, you know, you go there and Clement always, uh, you know, gives you something to to be happy to about. To watch, mate, yeah, and be mm. proud about it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But, yeah. Anyway, mate, uh, appreciate your call there, and uh, hopefully it helps for you. But stay in line. Um, keep watching the show, and, yeah, you might be in line for the uh, question of the week. Not no worry, mate. You uh, all have a wonderful night, and uh, thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate it. No Thank worries. You. Thanks, Karen. Thanks very much. Have a good night. You too. Thanks, guys. Bye. Mate, Bye. Mate. All right, guys, that was caller number one. So we'll go over to caller number two. All right, guys, it's time for caller number two. Caller number two, who we got? Christopher Vasilo. Ah, Christopher, how you doing, buddy? Good, thank you. Mate, what's your question for us tonight, mate? Just why is, um, what does it feel like that Brian's trying to palm off David Clemmer to power matter? When we should be hanging on to Clemmer and giving him a job after he retires and helping the young forwards up. 
Yeah, mate, uh, as you've probably seen on the start of the show, that uh, yeah, we got quite aggro about ourselves, and the last caller was the same. So, uh, yeah, the fans aren't happy with it, and, uh, yeah, we're not happy, but I don't know what's going on there, mate. Uh, I wish I had answers for you. All we know is that he uh, has been stood down for disciplinary uh, reasons from, you know, I find it pretty uh, ordinary. If anything, they should have given him a fine, if anything. Um, but being stood down, I think maybe... I, yeah. I, I'll go as far as childish. Yeah, it is. It well, is. Like, all, you know, he was, like I said, yeah, spur of the moment. He wears his heart on his sleeve. He's passionate. He, he loves the club. Yeah. Isn't this a player who you want at your club? Yes, yeah. and what I can't understand is, like, how, like, just the way he's getting treated. Yeah. And yeah, nah, we're not happy with it, mate, but you know the... The best way for us fans to be able to let out, you know, to do the talking is by next week when he's reinstated. Um, yeah. The next home game or next game we go to, we all get there and, you know, get the clamour chant going and just show the club. That would be good. That we want, you know, or get your signs up, you know, get your signs, clamour signs, whatever. Let's just go and show our support for clamour and show the club that the fans want clamour. Okay. So that's just that's the best way I think you can attack that. But uh, yeah, I know you're a big Clemmer fan too. So um, yeah, my wife is. She loves totally loves him. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's the best way I think. But um, yeah. All right, mate. Thanks for your call. And um, yeah, you're in the running for a prize again tonight for best caller. Okay. Thank you. No worries. Oh, well, that's thank uh, you, Chris. Chris. Thank Chris. Vasalo, caller number um, number two. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get on to caller number three. All right, guys, it's time for caller number three. Who we got there? Uh, what are you doing with my podcast, Eddie? What have you been doing with my podcast? Uh, you the, been looking after it? The voice is familiar. Yeah, I've been keeping an eye on you, you mongrel. Uh, How you doing, old boy? Hey, How are you? How's everybody? Hey, hey it's, the, it's Brendan. How you going, champion? All right, all right. All right. I thought I'd, uh, I had a moment of uh, of uh, spare time, and I thought I'd check in on you to make sure you haven't killed the place. Oh, no. We're still going strong. They're still alive, so we haven't killed each other yet. But uh, I've been noticing you, the new equipment and all that stuff. You, you know, I've... I'm impressed that you've worked out how to press certain buttons and stuff like that. So <laughs> yeah, you're new doing equipment, a really good job. New cameras, some more still to come, some more equipment coming as well. So uh, I, I guess that come at the end of the season, um, you'll be able to practice a bit more because I can see what you got coming, multi-camera setups and all the feeds and all that. I'm very proud of you guys. Yes, yes, you know? there's uh, quite a bit coming. So we're, we're not going to... Rush into it this season, but uh, next season we'll we'll kick it off with a bang. Well, and... you don't be too hard on yourself because I mean the stuff that you have got is um, pretty pretty professional stuff. I mean you you have never had any previous training, so it's it's only natural to have some you know a bit of kinks there. And like I said, come next year, it's going to be fantastic. Yeah. Like full blown professional, it's it's amazing. So <laughs> I've seen it, and yeah, people have no idea what there's what's going to be in store for next year. But look, I think it's going to be big. Yeah, no, thanks, mate. Appreciate that. But as I say, you know, with the hard work, it pays off. So yeah, you know, yeah, it's been a, getting there. It's been a you know a, a long slog, but uh, so to speak. But uh, the rewards are starting to pay off, and especially oh, with, yeah, with our new sponsor that we announced uh, last week as well. So um, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. And another one on its way, so uh, stay yeah. tuned. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah well, so I've got some questions. Sweet. All right, I've got questions. Okay, so who do you reckon is going to win the grand final now and who's going to win the uh, Five Churchill medal? Ooh, I'm going to play this one safe and say Penrith because I do have yeah. to go inside later. Um, yeah, I was just going to say, yeah. Mm. But, yeah, I would personally like to see Penrith Cowboys grand final. Mm. Um, sorry, floor boy Gary. Um, just because I think the Cowboys really deserve um, where they've come from to what they are now. I think they deserve a, a bit of a shot. Yeah. Um, and obviously Penrith for other certain, you know, obvious reasons. And 
if Penrith were to get through and it was Cowboys, I'll say Isaiah Yo to get the Clive Churchill. Ooh, there you go. What about the other guys? Um, Penrith and Brisbane. And yeah, um, Penrith again, yeah. yeah. And Dean took the words out of my mouth too. Isaiah Yo. <laughs> there you go. Mitchie? Uh-huh. I reckon Penrith and Cowboys as well. And I reckon Nathan Cleary. Mm. It's, yeah. It's, he won't That's have a true. tackle. Yeah. It's so quite possible, yeah, but yeah, if it's not the uh, Cowboys, I'll, I'll uh, it, it all depends, I suppose, with who plays who in the final system, I suppose, mm. doesn't it? Mm. I mean, the Cowboys could come up against Penrith in uh, week one or week two or week whatever of the finals, and one of them will knock each other out. So I guess it all depends, too, on where you finish on the ladder, who plays who, but I wouldn't mind seeing Parramatta there for, for Gaz, but um, yeah, I was... It's only been since 1986. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's a long, long time ago, but um, you know, that, that, they're a quality team too. So I wouldn't write, write them off, but yeah, I like to see the Cowboys only because I had the Cowboys taking the spoon out before any ball was kicked, and to see where they are now was yeah, they've done a, a, a sensational job. Um, on another note, I I noticed through coming up in Facebook posts and stuff like that, that Adam O'Brien's copping a bit of flack and, they, you know, people are demanding him to move on. And um, whispers of that Andrew Johns may come in and be, like, temporary coach for the rest of the season. Is there any truth to that? Do you know anything about that? I can't... I haven't heard that one, and I honestly don't think Andrew Johns would take the role because he was on um, nine the other day saying he doesn't have the um the uh how you put it the right state state of mind to be a coach yeah um the pressure and uh you know there's too much for him so i can't see that happening i mean it could you don't uh, stranger things have happened well hey especially if there's the pressure of just can you help us out for the rest of the couple of rounds until the, the see the season out it mm. could be a way a good little segue to you know, dip your toe in the water, so to speak, and, you know, oh, yeah, look, there's no pressure. I'm just doing this as a favour. Could be a good way to get the ball rolling. I don't, I haven't even heard if O'Brien's going or whatever, you know, it's all speculation. What If, for example, if they did for some reason get rid of him, this it would be Danny Badiris would step up and take the role for the rest of the year. He's already done it before, hasn't he? He's already done it before, yeah. And he won, the, he won a few of the last games. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. yeah, I don't. I honestly don't know if O'Brien is going to be given the the tap on the shoulder. To be honest, I, you know, I've been asked this question a million times today, and I, my answer is I don't know because all, honestly, yeah. no one knows. And, well, you've been asked a million and one now. <laughs> and to be honest, I, I give this answer back to I don't know if he should be sacked. I don't know if he's the right man for the job or not. Um, I mean, there's a lot of things that we don't know about inside, you know, in, behind closed doors. So you can't really, I can't really confidently say year he is or year he isn't. But if he's behind the what? the sacking of Clamour, um, yeah, I think you know my answer. What if, just say, what <laughs> if, if, I know the, if Canterbury go get Serraldo, why don't they have a go at Mick Potter? The way he's transformed Canterbury at the moment. No. See, so, uh, this is okay. We we'll go on the the subject that they're gonna give him the tap on the shoulder. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is hypothetically speaking. We mm-hmm. don't know. I'm Phil Gardner. I go for the Walker brothers. Yeah. Well, Personally, like nothing against Mick Potter, that good coaches, mm. but we have to change our style of play. Like every, it's just straight up the middle. We have no attack. And I think these two will bring a fair... I mean, Mick Potter, great job. I reckon Canterbury should keep him. Mm. Um, but, yeah, if it's for me and we do part ways, it's the Walker brothers. They've guaranteed. Mm. And they've already put their... They've put themselves out there already. Mm. What I've seen on social media. Yeah, two for the price of one. Two for the price of one, yeah. And if they don't... They said if they don't perform within 12 months, sack us. So that's... Mm, fair you enough. Can't, you can't get much more than that. But, yeah, I don't know, mate. I can't really say, yeah, he needs to go. I, You know, I've got my opinion. 
Um, but I don't really like to say, you know, get on and bad mouth him or, you know. Fair just, enough. Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah. Oh, I got another really more important question is um, Andy hasn't been on. Has he found, is he on a quest for that, the elusive corn jack or what's the story there? Like, Oh, he's just got some personal commitments that um, he has to deal with. So, we're hoping, we're hoping he'll be back in the next few weeks, um, but if not, yeah, we'll, we'll just as, it's a play by ear, week by week one. Uh, you know, work, right. work. I thought I thought we did have to bring the corn jacks in to get him in or something like nah, that. No, just work commitments and some other things. You know, tire him up, and same with uh, the big Johnson. The big, oh yeah, yeah, the big Johnson should be back next week, hopefully. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, that's what that's happens awesome. when you're a logie winner, I suppose, eh? Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, well, it's good. I just thought I'd pop in and say hello, and I'll probably make an appearance in the next couple of weeks, I'd say. Okay, you've heard it here first uh, that he'll be in a couple of weeks, so we'll uh, we'll have to get you on the panel that night or, uh, you know, at least for a brief bit. Well, I'll probably have to do some research and make sure I've got something to say. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure you'll be right. But, mate, I uh, appreciate the call, and um, it's good to hear from you. And, um, yeah, we'll... Uh, Catch you soon. Yeah, take care, mate. See you later, guys. See, See you, mate. mate. See ya. Bye. 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 Oh, that was a surprise call, but yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah, to, good uh, to see. Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, that it was caller number. F- oh, it's just dropped it. Caller number three. <laughs> All right, guys, then it's time for caller number four. Who we got there? Hello, this is Joel from West Wall's End. G'day, Joel. Mate, uh, what's, your, what's your question for us? Do you think that the um, Newcastle Knights can beat the Tigers on um, this Sunday? Oh, well, that's a tough one. Them. Mate, uh, it's going to be tough, considering we've now lost Clamour. Yeah. Um, oh, I mean, we'll get into the team list soon, but they've lost Hastings as well and a couple yeah. others. But I mean, it's going to be a it's going to be a tough game. game. I'm just we'll a be a quick tough look one over the over here, and obviously we'll get into the team list as you later later. But what I can see here, it's still a pretty good side on paper. Hmm. I mean, hence why you know it's match of the round as well. So, and I, to be honest, it's going to be a pretty tight contest but I mean the way the Tigers have been playing in the last couple of weeks it's going to be a hard one oh it will be yeah they won last week didn't they it's going to be I'll go as close as a flip of the coin match you know could go either way so mate uh, whatever team plays the game on the day yeah it's whoever's bit hungrier I suppose I mean yeah mm, it's Stafford Tower there coming against his old club for the first time. Yeah, yeah. definitely possible. I think we've got a good fighting chance. Yeah, well, let's hope you're right, mate. I'd like to see us you know, come home with a uh, a few wins towards the end. And, um, yeah, it'd be great if we could. Yeah, it would, mate. It would... We'll supporting them. Yeah, that's the way, mate. That's yeah. the only way yeah, to be. True. You know, win, lose, or yeah. draw is a true supporter. So, uh... Yeah, definitely. They're still our team. We've got to board them, win or lose. That's right, we mate. That, that's how a supporter is. So, mate, yeah. uh, appreciate your call, and hopefully, um, yeah, we can come home with a win on the weekend. Hopefully, fingers crossed for the boys. No worries, mate. Thanks for your call. Thanks, Joel. You're welcome. Thanks, Thanks so much, guys. Go right. tonight. See, See you, mate. mate. See you. Bye. All right, guys, and it's after that, we might uh, have caller number five. Guys, it is time for caller number five. Who have we got? Yeah, hello. Is this the nighttime podcast? Uh, yeah, you're on the air. Yes, hello. Uh, my name is Helmut, and I'm calling from Dusseldorf in Germany. And I wanted to say what a tremendous show that you put on every week. Oh, mate. No, we're glad you, you uh, like it. We're glad we can bring you some enjoyment. Yeah, well, you see, we don't know much about the league here in Germany. And uh, <coughs> I'm, <coughs> I'm sorry, my schnitzel was hot. Uh, we do not know very much about the league here, but I enjoy um, hearing about 
this man Klemmer is a strong German name, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, that's a hot topic this week. Um, yeah, he's uh, out this week, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a disappointment what's going on with him. Yeah, we're utterly disappointed too, and yeah, we're not a hundred percent sure what's going on at the club, but yeah, hopefully they'll get it sorted soon. The club seems to be run by a bunch of dumb cops. A bunch of what? Sorry, dumb cops. Stupid heads. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's better than the size cough. <laughs> well, I'm sure there is more than one of them there too. <laughs> oh, excuse me for a minute. Yeah, Missy. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, that was the the ball and chain. (laughs) 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 But do not let her know that I said that. We've been married married for 46 years. Mitzi and myself, Mr. and Mrs. Schlobendocker. Uh, Sorry? (laughs) Mr. and Mrs. Helmut Schlobendocker. Oh, Helmut. Yes, my name is Helmut. Element, uh, it's good to uh, yeah, good to have you call, mate. Uh, yeah, so you'll be watching the the Knights play the Tigers this week. Well, I I don't mind watching the league here. We get it on the TV uh, on the, the whatever you call the, the satellite TV because it's just so boring here. All the is all the time is is soccer or football as we call it over here, or or shooting or or. Yeah, punching people or just the things that we Germans do, yeah. Uh the, the league is, is very masculine, it's a very manly sport. And I like watching that more than these these shocker players who fall all over the floor. Yeah, they like to the they team. like to take dives, don't they? Oh, they are shocking, yeah. Huh? They got some good water, but I tell you what, that magic water could cure anyone, I mm. tell you. Oh, yeah, so well, uh, us Germans, we do know a thing or two about the magic water. And uh, it's, it's kept me going and keeps a bit of legends in pencil, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, fair enough. Uh, what, what's your water drink of taste? Uh, well, it depends. Sometimes I have a big stein of, of Jägermeister. Jägermeister. Or, yeah, so sometimes I just like a nice Bavarian ale. I have that with my schnitzel and pork knuckle and my uh, kartoffel puffers. Uh, do you live in Frankfurt? No, no, we are in Dusseldorf. No, oh, Dusseldorf. My, myself and Mitzi, uh, we've uh, been married 40... Oh, oh, sorry, I already said that. My mind's going a bit funny. <laughs> um, yes, we've been married... Oh, I just said that again. Uh, yes, I'm from Dusseldorf. Helmut, Helmut is my name. Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, uh, one of our panel members is not here tonight, but he usually is uh, the Big Johnson. He's he's uh, family used to have a German restaurant uh, in Newcastle up here. Oh yeah, I, I've heard the Big Johnson, and and he's he's a tremendous man. I I would like to know what the uh, uh, Australian take on German cuisine is. Yeah, yeah. No, you'd have to uh, drop him a line or send him an email, and um, yeah, I'm sure he could help you out. Because you know we Germans are, are well known for uh, schnitzel and and bratwurst and and metwurst. It's the worst. <laughs> talking about these schnitzels, and they don't get bloody hungry. Uh-huh. Yeah, when we we love our schnitzel, schnitzel on a stick, and, and, and yeah, the, schnitzel for breakfast. A big shout out to the uh, is it the Bavarian over there, Green Hills. We might have to go and get a uh, a German schnitzel from there. Yeah, and German sausage is the best. Yeah. Hey, Corey likes a good German sausage. <laughs> mm. Yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's, 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 uh, it's good to see that we've uh, our shows uh, reached European viewers. Well, we actually got an email from uh, USA. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I'll show you after the show. Okay. And yeah. um, obviously, yeah. New Zealand, we've over the yeah. ditch. So uh, and the Fijian team that we're sponsoring. So um, yeah, international. Oh. Well, we are all friends we're going now. Global. Now. Sorry? Yeah. We are all friends now, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah, mate, uh, feel free to uh, drop us a line anytime and um, yeah, enjoy the rest of the show and we're glad to uh, bring you some kind of enjoyment. Uh, yeah, and, and thank you very much, uh, mate, uh, for the t- tremendous show. Mitzi and I sent that now. Yeah, no, he's dropped out there. Is he still there? 
Yeah, hello. Yeah, yeah, we got you. Yeah, no, we said thanks, mate, for your call and um, good to knock. Yes, uh, good, 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 good Marvin over here. But uh, thank you once again for for your uh, tremendous show and all the best from Dusseldorf. No worries, all the best for you from uh, from Newcastle. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I'm coming to see. Sorry. Make sure you go. Anyway, we might take a short break and be back shortly. And welcome back. Oh boy, that was a quite an eventful talking Schmidt for tonight. Mm. Uh, mm, five calls tonight. We had the extra couple in. But anyway, we might get into the team list for this week. Uh, you just made the list! Yeah, team. Start off with the Tigers. At fullback, we've got Dane Laurie. Uh, on the wing, we've got Brett Naden and Ken Mamalo. In the centre, Stafford Toa and. Oh, mate, I do apologise straight off the bat here. Asu Kapoa. That's him. Uh, Adam Dewey, very impressive Adam Dewey at 5'8". Uh, J- Jock Madden. Another oh, Knights nice Junior. Yeah, another Knights nice Junior. There's rumour that we're possibly getting him back. Um, James Tamu, very impressive Tamu. Uh, Famua Brown in the lock. Joe Off and Gowie at... Uh, the pr- other prop, Alex is yeah, that's him in the second row. We've uh, Kelma Tulagi and Fanua Pol at the lock. Um, reserves, uh, it's not a bad side there, but the reserve, uh, Aston Dallas, Tom Freeball. Yeah, and Tyrone Peachy. Tyrone Peachy's been a bit of a letdown mm. since coming to the club, but mm. not a bad side there. Um, Looks a good side on paper. Very interested to see the progress of uh, that Jock Madden. Uh, yeah, because rooms are that you know we could be throwing him a a come and play. Yeah, um, but also rooms are that we're still in the hunt for Brooks. So. Yeah, <clears throat> only time will tell this one. But um, yeah, the Knights, our mighty Knights at fullback, Tex Hoy, and Ali Tawala on the wing with uh, Dominic Young on the other. Dom Young, very impressed. Uh, Dane Gay, Guy, and Bradman Best in the centres. Anthony Milford and Jake Clifford in the halves. Jacob Saifidi and Daniel Saifidi are the two props. Jaden Braley in at uh, hooker. Tyson Frizzell and Brady Jones moves to second row. Let's hope he gets more than 15 minutes this week. And Mitch Barnett at lock, which obviously the uh, the big admission from there is David Clemmer. Uh, our bench is Phoenix Crozen, Simi Sasagi, Basami Sola and Matt Croker. Yeah. Yeah, I... You notice one bloke that's still missing from this. Can't even get a start. Can't even get on the reserves or anything. Jesse Sue. Mm. Another one that's... I don't think it's been playing badly, but still can't get up there. He was in first grade, and then they got rid of him to reserve grade, can't get started. Is this another case of the, the Clemmer saga where he's certain people in the club are not getting along with certain players? So they're not getting a... You know what I mean? I just hate to throw stones and, you know, say, is this what? what? Something's just not right. And I know, you know, we're not bagging the club. We're not bagging individuals, but something's just not right. And I know I'll speak for myself, but I want answers. You know, we put our... You and pretty much all of Newcastle. Well, that's it, mate. Like, you know, this club means so much to so much of us and... uh, we don't want to see it go down the hill. There's no nothing personal on it towards anyone <clears> at all. But yeah, we just want you know what's best for the club. So yeah, how do you see this one going, guys? Um, tough game for me. <clears throat> um, last time they they trotted out against each other, the Knights um, put on a clinic really in round two. Mm. Um, I'm not sure if that result will be no like that this time around. No. It'll be a very close game, I think. Yeah. So. But, I mean, yeah, 
I mean, there's Jackson Hastings is going to be a big out. Huge out. Um, but yeah, so is David Clemmer. Yeah. So that pretty much Kansas itself, doesn't it? Oh, excuse me. So I, yeah. It doesn't even look like a night side without David Clemmer. No. No. Yeah. I mean, it still is a good side on yeah. paper. Yeah. But you know, um, you, you, you throw you throw Clemmer in that in on in that in that mix, and it's almost besides Kalen at number one, it's almost pretty much your your best side on paper. And Kurt, full, man. full strength, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Throw Kurt, Brody, uh, yeah. Kurt, and uh, Ponga back in. Mm. Yeah. Does yeah. see what I can't understand? Kurt Manton's been now named in the reserves. Yeah. Did you see him on the weekend? Who's this? Kurt Man. No. Oh, at the game, we'll talk to Kurt again, and you know we talk on a regular basis. But um, he still had the the stint and the blood bag in his leg. He's not going to play. No. He's far from playing. Like honestly, I'll be. I think mean, we'll be lucky to see him play again this year. I just don't understand it. And Must be a is it a week to week proposition for him? Is it? I'd say so, but would you risk it? Not now. No. Uh, same as Ponga, you know what I mean? Give him a fresh... Yeah, but... I mean, I'll go back to it again. I can't... I just can't get away from it. This whole clamour incident is just doing my head in. Yeah. Mm. And... Um, yeah, I'd like to say a huge shout-out to Clem if he's... Or if he's, you know, family's listening or whatever. Hang in there, mate, because we want you. Mm. Absolutely. And, uh, I, I, I'll say to the to the uh, fans, too... Um, <clears throat> Next weekend, well, even if you're down at the uh, what's the name game, get the clamour chant going. Let the club know that you know. Speak from the fans, from the heart. I mean, next week back at where well, back at home next week, aren't we? Or is it the week after? Two, mm. two away games in the trot. Yeah, two away games. Well, yeah. we got we got Brisbane, I think next next Saturday. Mm, unfortunately, oh, well, next game that we can get to, we'll definitely be getting behind him. So. Mm. I mean, that's the only way the fans can speak because that'd be, be almost all, old boys' day then, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. old boys yeah, is the last, isn't it? Yeah, yeah no, the last home game. So you've still yeah. got a couple. Still got a couple. Well, right, we'll get three, the train yeah. one night then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but um, yeah, I think that's the only way to you know let your feelings be heard. Boy, you know, yeah. get a big chant going for him, and yeah, well, I'd, he deserves it. Yeah, yeah. No, from then speaking from a an outsider here in terms of you know. Who I support, but mm. watching Clem every week, he's been far and away the Knights' best player all season. I just don't understand why you know s- something yeah. as little as that has turned into such a big debacle like this. I'm sure they could have spoke to him and said, "Look, Clem, we know how passionate you are, and you know, but if I say you got to come off, you got to come off. You know, whatever. Next time, mate, we'll find you or something." Mm. And even kept it indoors, you know, like we didn't need to know this, to be mm. honest. Mm. Um, but yeah, I don't care what happens. I don't care who they get rid of or whatever, who gets the sack or who, whatever. Clemmer's got to stay. Yeah. Clemmer's got to stay. And, you know, whoever's not happy with what he said or did on the field or how, you know, with his little squirt of water at someone, get rid of them then. I don't care if they're a trainer, a coach or whatever they are. If it's between them and Clemmer, off they go. Mm. Because I think this has just been a, a big basket case made out of nothing. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we'll move on. That's it. That's it. Yeah, I'm not getting back on that on that case again. Let's hopefully he, uh, hopefully something comes up good for him. So, uh, all right, guys, we might get into this week's uh, games and do our tips as well. Sure. All right, Thursday night we got the uh, Ben Chickens versus the we got the Roosters versus the Broncos. Up at Sydney Cricket Ground. I know it's such a historic ground and got a lot of history behind it, but the Sydney Cricket Ground is not a football no. a, a ground to watch football. You're too far away from the action. I think this might be one of their last games because the newly revamped Sydney Football Stadium is very close <coughs> to being up for opening. It'd be interesting to see that, actually. I wouldn't mind going to yes. see a game there. But are the Rabbits allowed to play there? No, I, I don't know. I think they might be still out at the the um, Homebush. 
Because uh, they want to play there, but the Roosters try to stop I it. I think the actual first game that the Roosters do play at the SFS is against the Rabbitohs. Hmm. Well, I don't think the Roosters should have a say in it. No. Why should only they get to play there? Mm. Well, you know, a lot of people share the Eels thing at Bank West. Mm. And who's, you know, gives them the right? I mean, the, the Roosters get 5,000 at a game. And that's if it's free ticket game. Yes. So, yeah, I'd, yeah, I'm utterly disgusting. And if they let the Roosters get their way, well, yeah. But it'll be interesting to see what it's like. Because at the moment... Other than uh, McDonald Jones Stadium, the best one to watch football is Combank. So it'd be interesting to see what this one's like. Combank is a really good stadium. To be honest, I think ours should have been more like Combank. You know, because like, you see our lighting system, they've got to warm it up an hour before they want to use it. Like, get with the times. Mm. Look at Combank. Off and on with the blue and you know, whatever lights, make it... It's like that grand final feeling at every game. I think the night, the grand, Knights Grand should have kept the old hill. No, 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 I like what it is. I reckon I'd like him to enclose both ends now, like with grandstand and do all the lights. Like, like Combank, perfect yeah. stadium. Mm. Anyway. So, yeah, I'm... Uh, oh, I'm going to take the Broncos. Um, but the Roosters are favourite. Mm. I'm going to go the Broncos too. No, I'm going to go the Roosters. Hmm? Yeah, I don't know why, but just, I don't know, just think they're going to win this one. That's yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the Broncos, yeah. but but, yeah, um, Broncos but Patrick bad. Carrigan's going to be a yeah. major loss, huge yeah. loss. So, yeah, yeah be a good game, but yeah. uh, Friday night, the Storm versus the Titans down at Amy Park in Melbourne. I'll tell you what. This is going to be a cricket school. Mm. I reckon Melbourne will bounce back and the Titans is going to just... Yeah, made, the look, made the look silly. They'll be sorry that they got off the bus. Mm. And saying that, they, I think Papinet... Oh, sorry, Papinet hasn't... Uh, Nick Meany's out, but anything could happen. But, yeah, yeah that will... Uh, Anytime Munster and Hughes are still in the uh, in the in the, yeah, in the backs, right. or the, the, what do you call the halves, that, uh, mm. you know, they're, they're a chance and they'll... Yeah. What do you think of um, Nelson the Salamana getting away with that tackle? Gets away with a lot. Mm, broke Wade Egan's tooth mm. from an elbow. So mm. how do you get away from that? Which was intent where Nathan Cleary's tackle was deserved the five weeks. By all means, I'm not saying he didn't. Mm. But it was accidental. So that, mm. Yeah, he put his hands in the wrong spot, but he didn't mean to do yeah. it. Where Nelson, oh, I love Nelson, oh, he's a machine hmm. but this was intentional and gets away with it yeah as I said he gets away with a lot the whole judiciary system needs a hmm. shake over yes but yeah anyway hey, I'll take uh, the storm for me yeah, yeah. Storm. storm yeah all in the green there alright ah, the Ben chickens versus the river worms Ooh. this is going to be a tough game mm, Friday yeah. night the arch rivals Manly and yeah. Parrot I I think Parramatta... Oh, hang on. Mitchell Moses is out, isn't he? Ooh. Yeah, he's um, done oh, a he's pinky, hasn't he? Yeah, I yeah. think he's uh, broke a nail. Yeah, um, he's been out for four weeks. I, I'm going to take Manly. I think. Mm. I think they're going to bounce back. I mean, if Mitchell Moses was in, I probably would have took him. Mm. But I just, I'm just not convinced on Brad Arthur's son yet. I mean, four by Gary... Is he as good as Mitchell Moses? No, nah, nowhere near it, but, yeah, got to bleed him in sometime. Oh, 100%, but that's where I just think maybe there's too much class with the Travoyevich, Jake and um, Cherry Evans and co to maybe blow him. I think Dylan might step up a lot too. Yeah, true. It's going to be a tough one, but I'm going to take the Eagles. Who's, well, that's well. So who's their goal kicker? I was just going to say Gutherson will take over the goal kicks because Moses mm -hmm. is pretty accurate. Gutherson. Do you reckon he reminds you of anyone, Gutherson? Mm. Is it Beavis and Butthead? Am well, I allowed to the... say this on air? <laughs> Remember that Beavis and Butthead, the Cornolio? No, I haven't watched it to be honest. Yeah, Lawrence of um, yeah, 
That's what he reminds me of. Anyway, well, hopefully I'll, uh, yeah, it should be a good game, but. So, yeah. well, well, I'm going to take Manly. Yeah, I'm going to take Manly. Yeah, in a tight one. Mm. Sorry, Gaz, but, you know. Sorry, Gaz. It's, it's reverse psychology, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on the Saturday night's game, uh, we've got the Rabbits versus the Warriors. Sydney football, um, uh, or is it Sun- Sunshine Coast? Sunshine Coast, 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 Coast yeah. Thing. Um, that's weird. That, mm. Yeah, mm. I'm going for an upset. You're gonna go the Warriors. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> no, I can't. No, I can't go. Paris Tavita's out. Yeah. Which was a big part, I reckon. Um, Latrell Mitchell won't play that badly again as he did last week. So it's the rabbits for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Warriors. Yeah. I'm gonna go the rabbits. Oh, wabbits. Oh, wabbits. Wabbits. Uh, Saturday, this should be a pretty interesting game, actually. Uh, Raiders and Penrith. <coughs> Raiders and Penrith, yeah. Down at Canberra. Um, I honestly think Panthers will be too strong. Um, not a master class without Clary but, and Luai, but they've still got some exceptional footballers. You know, you go from Dylan Edwards at the back, you got Tago on the wing, two on the other. Is Crichton back? Yeah, he's there. Crichton. Um, yeah, and even their halves that are filling in are, are pretty well, pretty good. Like one of them's going to the Dolphins next year. Yeah. Um, and then you go to their forwards, you know. You got... Um, the Fush. Yeah, Fusher Harris. He's... Uh, oh, no no surprise there. He's I'm a big fan of his. Like, he just gets his work done. He's uh, quiet. He's a lot like Clem. Quiet. You wouldn't want to mess with him and just goes forward. Mm. And, you know, yeah, I think he's great. But as they, uh, you know, very. Uh, he's the type of bloke you want in all your clubs. Yeah. And as they, uh, so he'll, he'll step as. He'll up. do most of the ball work. That's right. And, and, um, and then, you know, you got uh, Moses Leota and um, Viliamu kick out. Still a strong side on paper. That's right. I mean, Canberra's got a good side, but, yeah, I think they might have a point to prove to that they're not a one-man team. And I don't think Penrith will lose two in a row. Yeah. I'll I think that'll be I like, I like Penrith still in this one. It'll be a very tight game. Yeah. Um, if Canberra played like they played the last few yeah. weeks, it'd be very good. And I dare say it'd be very cold at 5.30 on a Sunday afternoon. Oh, yeah. So... <clears throat> Only thing that... In Penrith's favour is because they're probably used to the coldness too, That's being true. at the foot of the mountains. Foot of so. the mountains, yeah. Yep. The Battle of the Mountains. Yes. Penrith? Yeah, Penrith. 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 Yeah. Uh, Saturday afternoon as well. Oh, sorry, Saturday night, 7.35. Uh, the Dragons versus Sharks. A good old local derby. Mm. Big brother versus little brother. Can uh, you see an upset? What, the Sharks winning? <laughs> <laughs> um... No, I, to be honest, I think we're done now. Um, last mm. week proved to me that that they're not going to... If Even if they did have a chance of making the finals and they finished in eighth spot... They wouldn't go too far. No, they're going to be bundled out as quick as they got in there. Mm. You know, Ben Hunt, you know, he's... Can't he's, do it all himself. No, though. he looked tired last week. Mm. You know, he can't do everything. So to me, they're lacking another 5'8". Yep. Yeah. And maybe a well, decent I, hooker. I'm not sure about a um, five eight. I think Amone is all right. Mm. Um, but they're they're too slow. McCulloch, as long as much as a good player he has been, he's too slow. And they only gave Tyrell Sloan five minutes last week. The game was dead. Give him five minutes. I don't know what Griffin's idea mm. was to give him five minutes. Again, he's on the bench this week, playing number fourteen. We need to see how long, how much time that he gets this but week. I, I said to um, also like Brody Jones, for example. Yeah, how's he's the future of our club as well? Yes. And no disrespect to Barney and some of the others, but Barney's leaving at the end of this year. Yeah, huge loss, major loss in Barney. Like you know, I wish we had him. Unfortunately, we don't. Brody is staying. How does Brody improve his game for next year if he's getting fifteen minutes? That's true. Mm. Same with that slime. That's very true. Mm. So, you know, different if you're trying to get into the finals. I can understand that. But when the, the season's over, 
this is the type of players that, mm. you know, need mm. a bit of a run. Mm. But anyway, it's sharks and me as well. Yeah, sharks. Yeah, look. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. That's, you don't need to be sorry on this. Um, my, um, I think the sharks. If I think they'll be too good. You know what I mean, mm. I can't. I can't go any. Can't say any more. No. You know, if we do happen to win, we're well, great. But, but you never know. Yeah. That's it anything happens enough. in a local derby. That's right. So. Uh, the Bulldogs versus the Cowboys over at Slater Oval, Bundaberg. So, um, yeah. Mm. Oh. Cowboys. Yeah, as much as the, look, the Dogs are playing some great footy, mm. you know, and they'll. Oh, give, they're on the rise. Yeah, they'll, yeah. and they'll, and, and, and but they'll, not this way. No, no. This is a total different game. They're no. not playing the Knights this way. No, <laughs> no. So, yeah. no, or you know, there's a class side, yeah. so yeah. they're not going to have it easy. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, yeah, I think the Cowboys will... I reckon the Cowboys will win pretty convincingly here. Yeah, probably. I, st- I still like the Cows. I don't know. I mean, I sort of, sort of like the Doggies bit too, but they're mm. the blame. But, you know, right. I think the, the Cows... If the Cows want to be fair dinkum, they need to beat the sides that are, you know, in the bottom mm. half of the eight. So this is the opportunity tonight... To, oh, sorry, this weekend to, you know, to win. Drinkwater's playing some good football. He's playing awesome. Mm. The whole team is. Nanai. So there's another one that realistically should have been in our... You know, it's out of our nursery. He's Central Coast boy. Central Coast, yes. Mm. Uh, and that Nanai is 16 tries for the year for a Ford. That's amazing. Amazing, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, Kyle Felt's out. Yep. Mm, so that's good. Yep. For if you're a Bulldogs fan. Yes. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'll take the Cowboys. Can't say anything else. No, nah, Cowboys. And once again, we'll move on to this one. We'll do it again. But uh, West Tigers and our Mighty Knights. I can't tip against the Knights, so... Yeah, I haven't all year. I did once, and I got a ridicule for that. So I'm, <laughs> I haven't since. Uh, I'm going to, out of reverse psychology. <laughs> because if I tip against them, they're going to win. I'm telling you. Mm. So I don't care about my tips. I just want to see our team finish strong for the end of the year. So I'm going to take the Tigers. So hopefully I'm wrong. Mm. Well, no, then again, they can lose for the club just so they know they can't do it without the club and reinstate him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, not Yeah, because if they do week. win this week, they mightn't even pick him for next week. Yeah, yeah no, not with it. I couldn't do that to the boys. So hopefully they win, but, yeah, claim gets reinstated. But anyway, anyway. That's, uh, that's the games for this week, and um, some good games. So, yeah, get get out and support some games and watch them okay. Anyway, we'll take a short break, and we'll come back and wrap it all up. All right, guys, and welcome back. It's time for Bold Predictions. You got a bold prediction? I've got a bold prediction. Clemmer won't play this week. That's a pretty bold <laughs> I, I, statement. Actually, I have a really good one. Um, Jacob Sofidi's going to get injured and warm up and they're going to bring out the big clam. They can't because he's not in the... Well, he's not in the reserves, is he? No. Uh, he, won't be, he, mightn't even be in the, he mightn't even be at the game. Poor old Jacob Sofidi. Got to get injured. <laughs> oh, <I'm laughs> Poor bugger. <laughs> I'm trying to bring the big clam back. Yeah, he's, he won't even be at the game. But yeah. My ball prediction will be that Brady Jones will score this week. And he'll play longer than 15 minutes. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Mitch? Um, I'm going to go Jake Clifford, getting two tries, and Knights to win 1-12. to 12. Hmm. Tom Young will get a hat-trick. Mm. Uh, I'm going to go uh, Bradman Best to score a double. Double? Mm. He hasn't scored one for a while. He hasn't played for a while, obviously, but... Uh, I like this. I like Bradman best. I think he's a good player. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I'm a big fan of Dom Young. He's only yeah. going to get better and better. Mm. All, all right, I'll throw it out there. If Clement don't play this week, you do. You got to do a Gosling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not now. No, no, no. <laughs> but if he's back the next week, you got to do a Shuey as well. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, all right. Yeah. So. Uh, we were going to give away Jason and his Momoa this week, but uh, unfortunately the Big Johnson was um, a bit uh, ill, so he couldn't make it tonight. So we'll postpone it a week. 
Um, yeah, all you got to do is follow the show and you're in the draw. Thanks to Maitland Power and Maroon. A big shout out to all of our sponsors. Um, uh, Mobile Travel Agents, Pernell Trophy, Steak and Chops, uh, Sayers Zinc, um, Muso's Corner, Sports Power, and our new sponsor. Grand we- Matriarch. And I can't remember the rest of vodka. <laughs> Distillery. Distillery. Yes. So a big shout out to them. They'll be coming on board with a lot more and as well. Sayers Inc. there. I think yep, you Sayers Inc. And our major sponsor in uh, Burton Automotive. A mm. huge, huge shout out to all you guys. Newcastle Live as well and Hymix um, as well. But um, some big exciting stuff coming up as Brendan alluded to. He's going to give away a lot of our, our secrets. but oh, Not secrets, but what we're playing plan on so a lot of hard work been going into it this mm. year that uh you will see some benefits for next year and we're down to the business end of the season now almost so mm. so yeah stay tuned and yeah next year is going to be a cracker of a show so mm. yeah you'll see some massive massive changes and uh, a lot of hard work from from all of us here at the night time so uh yeah stay safe and enjoy your footy and uh once a night Always a night. Good night. Good night. Is it me you're looking for? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Yeah.